Uh, that's what I was trying to say. That last recording mysteriously cut, but um, I'm a person who is suddenly in indifferent uh, concerning the senior citizen senility impending, I think, on Gary Cans and Roger Tall. Uh, the, the downside to having religious employers is they're looking through the lens of a religion while they're judging you when they snoop into your personal shit. So like when, um, I speak about this subject and uh, express some animosity to being snooped on. It's only be really because what what they come up with, um, what they pull out their asses is like Freemason filtered. So all that errancy. What I think it you know it might work as a business model to be um, a collative of all the all the ideas that work. Which is what I think the, the Freemason religion has sort of tried to do. Like, um, what was the Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise religion? Scientology. And they have a pyramid scheme. Uh, we'll teach you the important ideas, but you have to prove yourself first. Uh, I think those ones are the shittest. Like, it, it, it's almost... It's worse than having to, than contending with an evangelical Christian, because the evangelical Christians will say what they're about, and you can talk talk back to them. Um, Freemasonry, on the other hand, I I see it as being their secrecy uh, as cowardice. But what I think they're doing is uh, going well. What ideas work? Uh, let's add them all together and call it our religion then everyone in every religion will like us but what they didn't account for was the uh, orientation cognitively of someone who is not associated or affiliated with any religion at all and who sees, that sees them as problematic for various reasons and has chosen so then they'll think oh they're, they're missing out it's why I, I don't uh, prefer to have uh, non-religious employers because your conversion is essentially uh, as I as I learned from experience more what was more important to them uh, than perennial improvement of knowledge through additional training and stuff like that so um So, you know, it leaves you, your, your mind is boggled because in ways it need not be. Uh, if you really just had non-religious management to be uh, accountable to. Uh, I, I didn't like, I don't like being a puzzle for them to solve, essentially. Uh, what I think that's a reflection of is the, the problems in their own religion that they haven't solved. It's like when you hear a person say, like, uh, suppose you, you saw a scene where you thought a policeman behaved or uh, was flaunting their, uh, what is it, impunity too much, and you're like, fuck them. And, they, and then that approach you going, oh, what, do you think all policemen are, f are fucking stupid because of that guy? And so what that is, is that that's the talk of a an idiotic monotheist a mono a monist like uh because uh, they think that they're in the one religion that's actually true so uh, they talk in ridiculous ways like that um, you know they make you want to snort drugs out of the pharmacy waste bin. Uh, anyway, uh, 
I want to. I'd like to recommend to everybody the album "Heaven Upside Down" by Marilyn Manson. Uh, the album "Black Star" by Dave Bowie. His final album. Uh, it's pretty much over 30 albums by Bowie, and that's an incredible feat of achievement. Um, "Black Labyrinth" by Jonathan Davis. Uh, and the nothing, uh, the, the following studio album by Korn. I like to recommend those to everybody.